Hi everyone, my name is Kelly and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark and Mercari. My store name is Leather vs. Lace, that's leather underscore vs underscore lace. And today I am doing a thread up unboxing. This is my seventh thread up box for 2020 and it will be my last one for this year. I don't have any more coming in. I ordered this one on November 14th or November 29th and it showed up December 14th and it is from Georgia so yeah if <laughs> I had a really good thread up box uh, one or two thread up boxes ago and this one is not so great so if you want an example of what is a not so great thread up unboxing then stay tuned it's great that's sarcastic. Um, okay, so let's just jump right in. Um, this is $60 and then $5.99 shipping. And there are 25 items of women's clothes, clothing, mixed sizes. So the first one is this little crop top from Forever 21, size small. And I ordered this box before the this Forever 21 top reminded me that they just changed that um, sellers aren't getting money for fast fashion and I know certain brands and I know um, Forever 21's on there which is interesting I'm not like, because some Forever 21 pieces do go for a lot especially if they're rare or like that sometimes they're jackets not a lot but more than you know something like that so it'll be interesting to see in the future what happens with that this is a Maggie London um, Jersey um, midi dress and it does come with the belt and this brand used to be sold I don't know if it still is by Stitch Fix I did Stitch Fix in the beginning um, when they did not have their own brands they did not like have um, specialty like 41 Hawthorne and Market and Spruce and that kind of stuff so but I don't know if they're sold there anymore. That one, I mean, I won't, the, the comps aren't that great, but it's also my size, so I <laughs> keep that when I go back to work. So active, old navy, with the bottom. This one, if you haven't tuned into my videos before, I'm gonna scoot you back a little bit. Um, I don't list a lot of these, and what I don't list I donate to Savers to get their coupon 20% off so it usually works out to be I think it's capped at a hundred dollars so like it's capped at twenty dollars and you have to spend a hundred to get that 20 so rag and bone store exclusive skinny you would think rag and bone would have a great resell they don't Skinny, khaki, these will be $20, $25, size 25, so on the smaller side. Great condition though, but I will be listing those. J. Jill. J. Jill has some really great pieces, and I have sold some, and then sometimes it just sits. This one is one that would probably just sit, but... I might list it I don't know probably not this one actually might be good for buy sell trade store like Ann Taylor like the regular Ann Taylor not loft J Jill Soma depend like if it's an older Soma things like that are really great to take to buy sell trade stores because that's you know there's women between the ages of 40 and 60 that are shopping there and they're looking for those comfort styles versus on Poshmark. It's more the younger brand So or younger age group. LuLaRoe size extra small I thought there was a nick on this one I can't tell There's an excellent podcast called the clothes horse podcast that goes into LuLaRoe and kind of what happened with them and why we see such an influx in the thrift of LuLaRoe. 
This is a really cute little summer dress. It, these colors are actually coming up. It's like a burnt orange and blue. And it's Forever 21, size small. It, the bottom half is lined. No pockets. I might list this just to see how it does. My Forever 21 stuff, either I started selling from my own closet, like 99% of other people, and it usually, it takes, it took a minute, but it did all sell. I didn't make any money, but it did all sell. And a lot of people bundled it too. Okay. So next is this tweed, like A-line mini skirt or probably hits at the knee. It's by Kit Cornell. Looks like an older label though. There you go. It's like got pleating in the front, almost like a school skirt. 32% wool. Dry clean, poly, nylon, and acrylic. But it does have like significant, not significant. Hmm. I have to check that one out. This I'm leaning towards donate though. Oh, I did receive this in a bag. Like it's in the actual bag. It's by Dreams. Dreams Co. 1X pajama set. Okay. <laughs> this is Angel Biba. The ticket on here says $54.99. Oh, $54.99. And it is a little romper. Comps weren't great, but it's really cute. Somebody might want to bundle it. I don't know if this, the, these are pajamas or an actual. They seem really thin to wear out, so I'm pretty sure they're pajamas. In Focus Studio size 8. It's like a tunic dress with no tie. But there's no, oh yeah, there's belt loops, so it's supposed to have a tie. But it did not come with one. Size 8. These I thought would be really great, but I looked them up and the comps aren't that great, so Polo, Ralph Lauren. I think it all has to do with how you list these too. These are a size. It does not say, but I'm guessing an 8 or 10. Maybe even a 12. And they're just, they kind of remind me of the flea market flare because they are a very wide flare. And they're in excellent condition, like the bottom is, there's no tearing, it's got the seam down the center, no fading, they're well taken care of. But I was surprised that they weren't going for more on Poshmark. Okay, this is an interesting one. This is unbranded, so I'm going to have to do a Google image search to see if anything comes up. It's this really pretty embroidered jacket. It's lined in purple. It is missing a button, so like there's a button um, hole over here and then no button on the other side. And I can see where it came off. And there's no like care tag, no RN number, nothing. So I will Google image search this. If not, it'll definitely go into my like store boutique for reselling. Okay, this is All Saints medium. It's like a to really long tunic with the cowl neck like the really long and you can fold it down all saints i mean the only all saints that i've had success selling are it's just kind of like rag and bone it's not for as much as you think it would be and 
the All Saints pieces that I've had a lot of success with are 100% leather. If not, this is my size. And it's comfy <laughs> for COVID work at home. This box is flying today. Okay, bar three, which is Nordstrom. And it's just this little, either off the, up on the shoulder or off the shoulder, sheer ruffle top, 100% polyester in a size medium. I don't know if it's supposed to come with a line. I don't see where one would be sewn in, so I'm going to say that it does not come with one. That's a good one if I'm just going to play those if I'm cleaning out old inventory or something. This is H&M. It's a very dated early 2000s skirt. The colors are gorgeous though. So I might take this to play those too just to get it out and I don't have to waste my time or throw it in my store depending on how crowded it is in there. Fabric. This sits forever and it doesn't sell very much. Fabrique, it's a black size small medium maxi dress. Summer is coming, Stevie Nicks vibes. It's like got that creepy texture to it. It's not lined. I feel like it has pockets though. Oh, it does have pockets. Pockets. So I'll definitely list that. It won't sell for very much, but. Bundle, bundle. This is heavy. This does not, like the tag's ripped out, so I'll have to do a Google image search on this, but it almost feels like, I don't know. It's heavy. This style was in style a couple years ago. Oh, here's a care tag. Has a style number. Oh, it's Guess. It is Guess. Small. I don't know. Might throw this one in the store too. Play Dohs won't take it because they can't see the brand easily. At least mine won't. These are Under Armour leggings cropped, brown, and coral. Ooh. Sorry if you like that. <laughs> I'm not. I'm like an all black legging person. Okay, so this is a blue velvet velour, however you want to say it, midi dress. TFNC London. It's pretty waterfall sleeves oh it's like a wrap dress midi length size 20 gin m wrap dress see this looks small for a 20 though Getting towards the bottom. This is a quick one today. Oh. Little pink. I know this brand is Lorna Jane because I just sold a bra. There's her logo, but like they have the tear tag and it's a long tear tag. So nine times out of 10, it's removed. Here, there's the option for removable cups, but the person removed them before they turn them in. There is her, sorry, I didn't mean to turn <laughs> that, 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 those three slanted squares is the Lorna Jane with the heart in the middle. And then it has the optional, you can unhook these in the back. It's pretty, it's cute, small, extra, extra small. Pencil skirt. Slit in the back, Kim Rogers, donate. Three more. 
Ooh, this is super soft. Hannah, plus size, 1X. Cute little tank with the, um, oh, is it only, oh, peplum in the back. So peplum in the back, this is so soft. I don't know anything about this brand. I think I tried to look it up and I couldn't really find anything either. It's good for summer though. Summer stuff starts really selling around, you know, early March. I don't know how COVID will play into it this year. There's not a lot of spring breaks, vacations. Oh, this still has the tags on it. So loft, petite, small petite. It's this really pretty like rust mauve with on the back. And this tag says $43.99. So I might list this one. Give it six months and then take it to consignment. And last one. Jones New York shawl. It's not a lot. At, damn it. This will also be donating. I'm not gonna. Small. I'm not gonna. Um, yeah, not a lot of damages. Very small, if any. Um, some pilling, a button missing. Some tags missing. Not a great box. I won't make my money back. Or maybe I'll break even. I don't know. I need to do a recap at the end of the year. But that was it. So if you like this one, uh, make sure you give a thumbs up. I'm just so devastated that this one was so bad. But remember in the other good one, it was, you know, the fact that it was so good. Um, I knew I was going to get, like, the thrifting gods were going to come back at me and give me, like, five bad thread-up boxes in a row. But that's the name of the game. That's their mystery. So I can't complain too much. Um, but I love doing these, and I really hope that these help people when they are deciding whether or not they're going to take the plunge and do these. So thanks for hanging out with me. Give me a thumbs up below and comment if you um, want any of these pieces or if you have advice on listing them. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.